All right, I'm gonna do a very quick and short little video here on um, kind of my process for getting set up for a little model project, um, such as importing a weapon model or armor model, um, anything kind of like that. Got a little G-Force driver there, all right. Um, Hopefully this is just helpful to some people. It just kind of helps my workflow. I figured I'd share it. Um, this also would create a jumping off point for uh, other videos so I don't have to walk through this um, every time I start another tutorial. So first thing I do um, or did here is I have a work in progress models folder. Uh, anything that I download in terms of models that I am trying to rip or import or do anything with, I toss these in here. I leave them um, zipped so I can pull from them again later if I want to just unpack it again. Uh, and then anything that I'm actively working on or doing, I uh, will take the unpacked version or unzipped version and rename it so that way I can kind of keep them differentiated. Um, for example here, we'll, we'll use the Fierce Deity Swords as uh, an example. We'll go in, click on that, click on that. We have three different levels for this sword. Uh, each one is just a different version of the Fierce Deity Sword. So we're just going to go level one, the OG. Um, it came with the texture for it right here. Came with the model in the MTL format and the model in the OBJ format. Um, to get set up for uh, importing the model, I will go ahead and reopen our work in progress folder here get that right next to it and I will grab the character uh, 3D Fiverr here for importing a blank uh, model to Fiverr. You can also grab that from the Fiverr editor folder. I'm just going to copy it right here, paste it over here. But you can also get that from right in here in the Fiverr editor folder all the way at the very bottom here. You can just copy it paste it. There you go. It's nice to just have that there ready for you rather than having to find it and drag it or do whatever. It's just there. That belongs to this project now. If you want to use a different one for a different project, copy of the blank one, put it in the different project. Next thing that I go ahead and do at this point is get the part uh, that I want to replace. In this case, I would replace the Moonlight Greatsword. So I'm going to just grab the part ID for that um, off of this list here that is on GitHub. Uh, Max Miracle putting this together, it looks like. Uh, you just go in here. You can find whatever it is you're looking for. You can actually just do Control F on it, put in um, whatever number you're looking for, or you can go based on whatever the type thing is. So we want the Moonlight Greatsword, for example. So we're just going to go right there. Grab that 0632. Boom. I'll link that in this because it's helpful for getting stuff set up. So we'll go ahead and open up the game folder here that is going to be unpacked with UXM. We'll go to the parts list and then we will just go to it because I had already searched it. Click on that, copy it, and then we will paste it over here. And then close that. I will go ahead and just take this and unpack it with Yabber so that we have the base folder there. Go all the way in. I'm actually also just going to unpack the TPF while we're here so we just kind of have all of those things kind of primed and ready for our project. And then we will kind of just go from there for any sort of project. This is a pretty good um, base to start off of with a project. Um, this is what I do for every weapon and every model that I do an import on. I set up every single one of their folders this way before I start and I go from there. So hopefully that is helpful um, and you will be able to see in the beginnings of other tutorials or videos kind of going over this kind of stuff that this is where we start from most of the time um, and I will likely not explain this whole part 
uh, at the beginning of every video. So hopefully this is helpful to some people. Hopefully this just creates a little bit of a platform to start on or starting point for some stuff. I personally really like doing it this way, but that's all for now with this one. We'll get into a different tutorial very shortly.